Can you can you guys actually guess like uh, the topics with the highest views? Uh, just take a stab in the dark. Speaking for the ladies again. Anything that talks about sex, skin, yeah, yeah, yeah. sex and sleazy. Mm. Slightly scandalous, I think. <laughs> this seems to be the rule of thumb, right? Okay, I'll just get your reactions here. The top three um, blog topics are mm. my dates from hell. Really? Oh. Uh, yep. What are the most daring bracket meaning naughty things you have done in your life that even surprise <laughs> yourself? Yeah. Okay. And the third one is Bad Boy Edison Chen succumbs to public pressure and says he's oh. quitting the HKC. What is your take on the whole sordid affair? What, what do you think what these are? were the were the most uh, like uh, red ones? The Edison Chen one we know lah. Yeah, it's all over the papers, all over the news, all over everywhere. So yeah. yeah. But dates right? from hell and what what are the most daring things you've done? It's not, it's not really. I mean, okay, some of them were, were sexy, yeah, but not all of them were. But I think these are like very topics that are related to sex and yeah. relationships and that's what um, Singaporeans like reading. Yeah, and I think why they like to read because like they have a closet pervert in yeah. them and they want to like pinpoint, yeah you see look at this person, she's like blah blah blah. You know, but don't you think everyone on the internet is almost has like this sense of, of voyeurism, like they but they want to appear into someone who's like without being known. That's, that's mm-hmm. what the internet is for, right? Cool. Okay, I write for people, but then I write to entertain people in a nice way and not to like you know scandalize them. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's a very normal reaction. I mean, who wouldn't want to know what the naughtiest thing is in my opinion? Yeah, people are it's just a capo. Everyone is everyone is capo. Basically, yeah. everyone is capo. <laughs> very well said. So I'm like just uh, so simply put it together, everyone. I like that, I like that. Um, okay, well, the last blog topic you guys wrote was what 2011 will be for you or what the year next year will be for you. Um, we had Jamie and her new life as a mom, Julian and being frugal. She had a massive travel plan, uh, sp- spontaneous or otherwise. Uh, Silver losing, uh, trying to lose weight and progressing in her business, right? And Maya living in the now, being a good mother and concentrating on her next project. I want to start with um, Maya. Can you divulge anything more on your new project? Um, I'm going to acting, and we have a movie coming out next year, which is going to be short probably like end of next year, I guess. And we've got uh, a short film project coming out. Um, I think it's more like a community project for children. Uh, I don't know. Mm. I'm a bit spaced out now. So um, anyway, <laughs> so that, that's going to be in like March and... Um, hey, my birthday is in March. So we're going to ask you for free tickets, you know, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, on camera. <laughs> yeah, and um, mm, just this acting stuff going on and... We're going to uh, I'll be recording a single and um, and for that's for the film as well. Um, What's the name of the film? Can you say I don't know if I could say, but yeah, I haven't checked if I could say, so, okay. <laughs> so I'm not saying. But uh, it's about uh, children these days. Um, and other than that, I'm being a mother, full time. I love being a mother. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> the sewing, right? All the yeah. sewing, oh, making yeah, dress yeah. sewing. <laughs> <laughs> who, who doesn't like mothers, right? No? <laughs> Next time your crowd sings that to you. Oh my god. Wasn't it on like that milk ad? It wasn't a milk ad before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that spray or something. Every time I hear like this kind of white dead funerals, they will play it your song Must do a remix. Okay, since since we since we got Silver singing a song for mother, maybe you can tell us. Like a little bit more information on their new business is coming up. Um, I'm trying to uh, do a business to cater to the female bikers in Singapore, mm-hmm. and of course, as time goes by, I want to cater to those in the region as well. Because I, I tried googling, I tried going online to get stuff uh, for myself as a as a biker chick. I couldn't find many. Like most of them were catered, you know, for guys, very garang, very fierce looking helmets, very um, ugly raincoats. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to change that. Hopefully, I can change the the female biker. Okay, so specifically, it's, it's like like a, a female biker fashion, so to speak. Uh. What is this exactly? In in a sense, uh, In a sense. Like like what what we need, like you know, adequate protection in the sun. It's okay. so, it's something. It's not just about applying sunblock and. Um, 
Because nowadays you can't tell like, if it's a female rider or a male rider because when they don on the jackets and you kind of can't tell. You can't small tell. size, yeah. Yeah. small size lah. But um, and then uh, for bikers who who love wearing skirts and dresses, okay. what can they do? Safety shots. <laughs> <laughs> no, when is the business gonna um, like sell out stuff? I'll I'll announce it. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. when when it's ready. If you want more information, you can check out the blogs, right? Uh, okay, so Shay, Lara, and um, Shulan, any updates on what are you guys be doing next? Because we got a massive travel plans. She's mm-hmm. chopped block. <laughs> any updates to, to that schedule? Uh, not really. No. Yeah, just traveling and blogging. All right. Yeah. Shulan. Wow. Okay, I'm trying to look at 2011. So economically on the whole, 2010 was quite a good year for the country. And I was hoping that that would spill over into 2011 and beyond. So okay, using that as the assumption, I thought okay. One thing I'd like to point out is that the common assumption is that when times are good, we should all spend money, and when times are bad, we should all save money. We should probably do it the other way around. It makes more sense to save money when times are good mm-hmm. and spend money when times are bad. And that was the idea I wanted to get across in the blog. So I'm hoping I'll be frugal next year mm-hmm. because it will mean that it's a very good year for the country. Mm-hmm. Very awesome. You know what, guys? Thank you so much for joining me on the show. Um, I just want to get you guys to wish the camera Happy New Year and we can get out of here. <laughs> One, two, three. Happy New Year!